Hello, good day, and welcome to Trending News Stories on News Bites. My name is Deborah Ados. In today's news highlights, Carlos alleged personnel from the Forestry Commission are paid 600 Ghana cities every week as bribe to allow illegal miners operate. President Ekuf Ado urges John Mahama to declare his stance on Kalamse. Majority leader goes to Supreme Court over moves to declare seats of independent candidate vacant. To our first story, allegations of bribery and corruption against the Forestry Commission in Ghana have surfaced with claims that the forestry personnel receive 600 weekly bribes to permit illegal mining operations. According to him, sorting the forest commissioners makes it easier to mine illegally. However, he revealed that illegal mining is difficult to curb because some chiefs and politicians are involved in the ongoing struggle against illegal mining in Ghana. The most land we are destroying, the chiefs are part of it, and then the politicians, and sometimes the, the prominent people in the society, they are part of it. And one politician, now he is standing for MP, so oh. these are the people they are involved in doing galamse. And I work personally at Forest too, uh, that is Enchi Forest. And there is a river there called Yoyo, uh, Ankara, and then the Suhama. The Yoyo is in the forest, and then the Ankara and then the Suhama, they stream straight to the Yoyo. So we have destroyed the Yoyo, uh, the Suhama and the Ankara. So when the uh, Suhama and Ankara go straight to the Yoyo, and the Yoyo to take to the um, uh, this river, uh, Tano. So sometimes the forestry will follow. When they come and they meet us, they collect something. Let's say alleged. Mm. I'm not alleged. I'm, talk, I'm telling you the facts. Sometimes they leave their number, and every week we send it to them. They are three types. We send to you, and then where we will live, we have another one there. So we send six Sunday cities every week. So at first, we just go to the forest. The forest, we call it no man's land. So when the forestry come, and then you are able to sort them out, then they leave you to work. So every week, you give their parts. Moving on, President Ekuf Ado is calling on John Mahama to publicly declare his stance on Galamse. According to him, Mahama is not certain about his words of transformation to Ghanaians, especially when it has to do with tackling illegal mining. President Ekuf Ado, however, recollects how the loss to the National Democratic Congress in all the constituencies due to Mahama's promise to curb illegal mining in the country. However, he called on the National Democratic Congress and its presidential candidate, John Mahama, to declare the stance on illegal mining. Somebody who wants to be president, he can't change his mouth. One side of his mouth is saying one thing, the other side of his mouth is saying another. It is not good for him. In the 2020 election, after the government had acted on the God I'm saying, he went around all the mining districts of Ghana to tell them that when he comes, he's going to give amnesty to anybody who has been attacked by, on the Ghana issue by my government. So it's not surprising that MPP lost in all those constituencies. That when he comes, he will now enforce the Ghana laws. We want the NDC, four-time NDC presidential candidate to come clean, to tell us where does he stand. This is what I meant when I said that I was prepared to put my presidency on the line. I was prepared to take the political risk in dealing with them, that I'm saying. Away from that, Ghana's majority leader, Alexander Penyomakin, has taken a significant step by filing an injunction application at the Supreme Court. His move is in response to the minority's efforts to declare the seat of independent candidates vacant, 
citing Article 97, Clause 1 of the Constitution. The article states that a member of parliament must vacate their seat if they leave the party they were elected under or seek to remain in parliament as an independent candidate. Declaration of vacancies and all. I think uh, this morning I got uh, a memo which was addressed to Mr. Speaker by the respected member for Tamale South. Uh, I got a copy and uh, he has sent a notice of petition to Mr. Speaker to declare some seat vacant. And he has listed Agona West, Suhum, Amenfi Central, and Formina. So he relies on Order 99 and also anchors his application on Order 18. And uh, he intends to move the house to uh, consider this uh, matter. But uh, before then, I think um, I have also uh, looked at the matter, the constitutional provision, and I hold the view that the members of my caucus who have filed to go independent for the next election have not written to me as the head of the caucus to say that they are no more part of the caucus. So as far as I'm concerned, the caucus remains intact. And I believe that some of these controversies are better settled by the courts. So in my capacity as the majority leader, I have filed a writ at the Supreme Court. Parliament has been duly served. There is an injunction application also attached to the writ, also duly served. Therefore, I believe that if we are going to respect the law, uh, this matter will be placed on ice until the Supreme Court determines. Due to that, the former minority leader, Haruna Idrisu, has written to the Speaker to declare four parliamentary seats vacant, three from the majority and one from the minority. Meanwhile, it is possible that the National Democratic Congress will become the majority party if the motion succeeds. And that's how we draw curtains on GTR News Bite. For more news updates, don't forget to log on to all social media handles at ghanatalksradio.com for trending news stories. My name still remains Deborah Adol, so do have a good day. <music>